A party in downtown Rome, everybody was bouncing for seats that had to be Pompey. Tributary stopping, all the pistols for sizzling or threads, they'd be popping. Several coming here sit back to the hearth to rest their love for Caesar. They perceive their need to part. Caesar has the best for his pussy and in the best. Zeus here predicts from the firmament the arguer interrupts the tournament. His demeanor does not change despite the ominous presage. Brutus listens to Cassius cogitations, making insurrection against the nation to franchise the sense citizens soon to be bondsmen of Rome, the great city before Cassius can see if he's agreeing. Caesar denied, tries to be the king. Casca can see a storm and thinks it's a hex. He says unto Cicero that the gods have been vexed. A lion on the steps and an owl in the sun. He blames the lord of Rome. We all know the one. Cassius refused to take shelter from the storm. Flash forward to Brutus walking about his home. Brutus paces back and forth in his arbor. Conflicted feelings for Caesar. Love and hate he doth harbor. Cassius sends a letter to show Brutus that he's better and that Caesar will get wetter from the knives of blood letter. Portia asks Brutus to explain why his peeve and Brutus cannot save the act is too mischievous. Capernia begs Caesar not to leave. A horrible death she saw in her dream. Enter a deceptive man. Comes to Caesar with a plan to construe the dream as good and Capernia is understood. Caesar scolds his wife and heads off to the Senate. She wars for her man but not long when it's seen three. Our soothsayer sees the great Lord Caesar. He says you are not dead but the eyes aren't over either. The plot's almost discovered twice. They blow their cover. Quick thinking and luck and they made it to the Senate. The lovers are almost clear. They're in it to win it. Julius, Julius, Savage Pass, Brutus and Cassius, Lady of Wine. Julius, Julius, how are you the friend? Like it's fair, we're playing in love Julius, Julius, we love you so much. The conspirators betrayed out of your trust. Julius Caesar, I am for real. Accept my apology, mom will appear. Act 3, abridged, but that's okay. Caesar was stabbed, suffice to say. The late man said that he could move mountains. Casca struck first, and the man bled fountains. Unassailable Caesar, a two brute as it were. Then falls Caesar, they cut down the cur. Their rage blown out, they engender excuses. For their great role, why on earth would they do this? Their love for their country, their constancy is strong. This is their infirmity, the grievous act was wrong. Mark Antony arrives, but not to chide. With the conspirators, he pretends to side. His covert operations to hurt them. He's out, Brutus speaks the crowd, but Antony goes last. They encompass the man, loads to listen at first. He changes their minds and shows them what he's worth. Friends, Roman countrymen, lend me your ear. I come to bury Caesar, that's why I'm here. Caesar was slain by an awful men. But why did they stab him again and again? Whose ransoms did the general got fulfill? A man of glory, who his best friend killed. When the poor cried, Caesar wept. And don't leave now, cause it's not done yet. Thrice I presented him the kingly crown. Thrice he looked at me and turned it down. And men have lost a reason. Tell blame this man with treason. The poor red cock imposes. The center loses pulse and extenuate his table pen and he probably holds it. And he needs Octavius to discuss what must be done about the money and trust. Levitus goes off to find the will. Brutus and Cappius lay aside to kill. Antony compares Levitus to a horse, but only to fight, not to lead, of course. Antony prepares the army for war. With him at the helm, victory is a shout. Brutus is mad, robbing with anger. Cassius corruption with the campaign in danger. Bribing, robbing, they hurt the homes. The farmers and the lovers, the empire of Rome. Brutus and Cassius retire to contend. They argue back and forth, their energy was spent. Brutus is sorry, Cassius is a liar. He's washed his bed, he was a wise wall of fire. Revealed to Brutus an apparition so scary. From St. Caesar, as the man not to the fairy. He'll die on the field, a prostrate preventer. Full of vultures and crows, his body picks slender. Julius, Julius, how did you die? Brutus and Cassius, they don't why. Julius, Julius, how are you dethroned? Like it's scared, it's plain, it's off for him. Julius, Julius, we love you so much. The conspirators is betrayed out of your trust. Julius Caesar, I am for real. Except my apology, my humble appeal. Believe this me before the fray. The prodigious young Caesar, Octavius, must say. He calls the man vile when arguments the rage. The razor swords to rally men, a war they will wage. Brutus finds a king, and Caesar's on sly. His army is surrounded, and it's all for naught. Cassius decides to end it. He saw his best friend die, there's no way to win this. He closes his eyes, and as his heaven slain him for the death he's caused. This is to repay them. Brutus runs away, but cannot get far. His lover's all dead, his reputation marred. A loyal soldier stays to hold up his sword. Brutus kills himself to run in his own word. The apparition appears and says it's time. Brutus begins to chief for the sword of suicide. 
I want to personally thank Adam for staying up until 1.35 in the morning with me to get this done, working with Mason's mediocre rapping skills and my horrible mic. Um, thank you a lot. Peace out, Ms. Miller's class.